Hello everyone, it is me, and today <laughs> we're going to learn how to clean our cast iron cauldrons that we have. Um, yes, 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 a lot of us as witches, warlocks, mystics, shamans, pagans, the like, we love our cauldrons, I know I do, I have several many different kinds of cauldrons, um, but a lot of us do have a cast iron cauldron, and they get very dirty especially after one use. But if you use them over time and don't clean them, they can get rusty looking. They, just, they get pretty gross. And a lot of people don't worry about it and they just kind of rinse it out with water and soap and keep it moving. But that is not actually very healthy for your cast iron. To a degree, cast iron is self-cleaning, but not completely. It will stay like this as long as you let it. And you'll just keep pouring in stuff on it. And that's not okay. <laughs> so today we're going to learn how to clean them because I think a lot of people don't know how to care for cast iron because it is not the same as caring for ceramic or metal pots and pans. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Um, you can do 250. I recommend 300. So while that is preheating, get you out an old pan. Um, I like See, this is like a beat up looking pan. Um, I don't want to use my nice pans for this. So we've got an old busted pan, like a baking sheet. Okay. And we have our cauldron in question. Um, and yes, I wear gloves for this. You don't have to, but that's just me. And what we're going to first do is just give it a preliminary little scrub. So I like to use some water that I have consecrated for magical purposes because hello, we are magical people on this channel. Uh, rather than just using regular water. So I'm using water that I have consecrated under the full moon. And we're just going to pour a little in there. We're just going to eyeball it. That's good. Alright. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of baking soda. Just household baking soda. Not a lot. Um, mm, maybe that much. Okay, that is kind of a lot. So we're going to add about that. Now, some people will add vinegar to this. I don't do that unless I have a lot of gunk in there to clean out because vinegar can be a little corrosive and damaging long-term to your cast iron. Okay, so we've got this sitting in there doing its thing. So now you need something to scrub it with. You can use a scrubber like this, okay? Um, or you can use steel wool, which would be something like this, right? It can be soapy or not. Um, probably for this, I'd recommend just a plain steel wool. However, I will be using this, um, this brush, like scrubber brush, okay? So, we're just going to go in and we're going to scrub it down using a firm hand. Don't be gentle, okay? Um, cast iron can take a beating. I mean, obviously, look at this one. Um, but so we're just going to scrub around. And if some of it doesn't come off, that's okay. Um, if for some reason you were not happy with the amount that gets, you know, rubbed off in this process, if there is still a lot of stuff caked on that you do not want on there, you can go ahead and put this in the oven uh, without the liquid in it and let it bake in the oven at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes. There about, give or take about 20 minutes and that will help flake off some of the junk that you have stuck on it as you can see it is pulling off quite a bit I'm not gonna worry about doing a preliminary baking today I'm just gonna scrub off some and we're gonna keep it moving for the sake of this video okay so now I'm gonna pour this out and I'm just gonna give it a quick little rinse Okay, I'm just going to scrub the outside a little bit because I did have a little bit of stainage on the outside. Okay, get the handle. Now, you can play magical music while you do this. You can light candles, you can light incense. You could call on some gods to help you with this. There are several gods of the kitchen and the home. 
Uh, there are also gods of cauldrons that you can call on, such as the Dagda, uh, Caridwin, there's several, Hestia. Do your own research on that. Okay, so I've scrubbed that enough to my liking. So now, let's see, I'm going to take these gloves off. So now, we're going to get a paper towel or a hand towel, a rag, something like that. I'm going to use a paper towel today. And we are going to just kind of dry it off. And as you'll see, some of the stuff still comes off. That's good. You want that. So I'm just going to aggressively dry it off. Okay, all over the handle, everywhere that I put that water and baking soda, we are going to just rub around and dry it off. It doesn't have to be perfectly dry, obviously, because it is about to go into the oven. Look how dirty it made my counter. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, we're just going to do that. Sorry, I have to clean as I go. I'm that person. All right. Now, we're going to take a little bit of oil here, um, or shortening. Animal fat, lard, anything like that. Um, as I said, you can use lard, animal shortening, or vegetable oil. I would not recommend using other oils. You can, but traditionally, I'm speaking from like how we clean our cast iron skillets here in Alabama, you're going to use lard or animal shortening. However, today I am going to use vegetable oil because I do not feel like going all the way back to in the back of my fridge to get my lard out. So. We're going to get out the good old vegetable oil. And we're going to open it up. And now this is where if you have a brush, like a painting brush or a baster, um, basting brush, something like that. That will come in handy here because you can just brush the oil all over. If you don't have that, you can always just use your fingers. So I'm just dipping my finger into this oil like that and I'm going to apply pretty generously. I mean, you don't want to soak it, obviously, but you want to give your cast iron a good coating, okay? like so so we're doing our thing la 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 and we're going to do this inside and out so once i have the base like the inside excuse me once i have the inside coated to my liking i'm going to transfer this over to that old beat up you know pan we were talking about and i'm going to start working on the outside again it doesn't have to be pretty it does not have to be perfect. Um, we're just coating it, you know? But you want to get everywhere. Like I said, you want to get the handle, if it has a handle. You want to get the top, the ridges. Just get all over it, okay? All over it. I'm getting the underside. I'm getting the legs. All right. And this is just going to provide a seal, like a protective seal over our cauldron. So now I'm going to wash my hands. All right. There you go. And that's pretty much going to be it. So we've got it coated. We can say a consecration. A little prayer, do a little something, something. You know, guys know I like mudras. Okay. So, that's done. We've preheated our oven to 300. We're going to open said oven. And we're going to put it up. Uh, as you can see, I'm just using great value from Walmart. Nothing fancy. All right. We're going to put on some oven mitts. I am using these cute little Easter oven mitts that I got from the dollar store because they are cute. And I love them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this in the oven. Ugh. And we're going to let that bake, as I said, at 300 degrees 
for about 20 minutes, give or take. You may, If it's not preheated all the way, you may want to wait. If not, go ahead and just stick it in there. No worries if you didn't preheat. And sorry, I'm cleaning. <laughs> and that's just going to bake, as I said, for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I wouldn't go over 30. And then you're going to pull it out, set it on top of, you know, somewhere safe, let it cool, come to room temperature, and that's it. You're done. It will, you'll, it'll come out solid black. If you did your cleaning correctly, it'll come out solid black. There'll be no rust evidence, no stains, none of that. It'll be solid black and clean and look brand new. I promise. And that's it. Take care of your cauldrons and they will last you for your whole life. Cast iron is phenomenal and it will last literally forever for generations if you take care of it right. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.